good little jumper. The first time she came inside, I about had heart failure. It was scary, it was intimidating, and it was like, how am I gonna get her out? I really don't know how I'm gonna get her out of here, and oh my God, what do I do? And uh, I think I snapped one picture and then spent the rest of the time panicking to get her out. And she did pretty much what she does today. She lounges through, she turns around and sniffs, and I'm like, okay, I'm calming down. I'm okay now. Now, are you gonna go outside or are you gonna be a brat? Mm -hmm. And then she likes to go back into my bedroom. And so she goes down the long hallway and goes back into my bedroom. And then she uh, turns around in a very small space. So you're like, how do you do that? There's a bed in the way, there's a dresser here, but she spins herself around pretty adeptly. Bullet, what are you doing? You're hanging out again, right? I know you're happy, you don't wanna go outside. She thinks she's a dog, she acts like a dog. She walks around the house. I was disciplining her in the house, told her to get out, and she did. And she listens, she does mind, she is a buffalo. You can't really like push her around too much, but she's, uh, she's just a good girl. She needs more space. She needs more space, she needs better grass. She needs a real pasture. She needs, she doesn't need other buffalo. She doesn't need to be out with cows. She needs what I've got. I mean, this is what she's used to, horses and people. I, I mean, I've been very selective. I've had a lot of contacts. I've had, um, you know, petting zoos and roadside attractions. Stop chewing on my furniture. And I can't take care of 30 horses and work full time and live my dream. So the best thing for me is to give everybody a good home. Especially Bullet. She absolutely deserves the best.